Hi there, it's Nina Nanda Gopal at almostpractical.com and today I am so excited to share with you the all new 2021-2022 Erin Condren Monthly Planner. I'd like to thank the team at Erin Condren for sending me this planner and a bunch of other things that I'm going to share with you. The new monthly planner, well before I even get into the new monthly planner, let me tell you what the monthly planner is. And it is a it is similar to a life planner in that it has your monthly layouts, but each monthly layout is followed by your productivity pages and some lined pages. And you can also order extra lined pages to go in the back. So it's really the big focus is on the two page per month spread. So this particular planner has the gold coil, which is an upgrade, and has this beautiful, beautiful golden accent cover, interchangeable cover. And this one is in the flora, the new flora design. So there's just so many choices and I know I think I need to back up and go over them with you. This year, the monthly planner is coming in two designs. So it's coming in the flora, which is what I have here in the seven by nine. And it also comes in the mid-century circles in a seven by nine. And I believe it's, that's, a, that's a colorful design, yes. So let's just take a quick walk through. I know I showed you a couple different things already, but I'm gonna start at the beginning. And you have quotes, uh, I'll start at the very beginning. So when you start, you have your monthly planner page. Now, unlike the life planner, there is not a vellum page in the front here. So you have your beginning page and you have these beautiful quotes and then you go right into mini months from July of 2021 to December of 2022. And then you have your 12 blocks to use for planning or however you'd like to use those. You can add, do a block for each month or have little quotes or whatever you like to put in there. And then you go right into your months and so July each month has a different fl floral. In the flora planner, each month has a different flower, and that flower is featured on the pages of that month, if that makes sense. So, like July is orchid, and you can see there's orchid designs, but it's a very nice muted neutral. I love flora. I have a life planner in flora, in the um, for in the hor hourly layout, and I also have the new folio life planner in the horizontal layout in flora so you can tell I'm a big flora fan so here is the monthly two page per month spread and then you go right into the productivity page which also has the little bit of the flower in there and then you have lined pages and I'll count them with you we have one two three four five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine pages, single-sided pages, or I mean, they're double-sided, but nine pages behind each month. So we had the orchid, and then we go to the poppy for August, and you can see the flowers go through. And I'm just gonna flip through really quick for you because each month is laid out very similarly. So September is the Dahlia, October is the Gardenia, November is the Peony, December is the Magnolia, January is the Lotus, February is lavender. March is plumeria. April is daisy. May is lily. June is rose. And that's the end of the book. So my book goes from July of 2021 through June of 2022 and you have 
options of going from what I have July through June. You can go from August to next July, so that's two options, and then you can do a 12 month from January of 2022 through December of 2022. So you have three options for your start date. And then at the end of the book, when you get to the back last month, there is many months for from January 2023 through December of 2023. And then you have a page of a few pages of these labels or stickers. And you have this really pretty sturdy flora folder, which is I think is so pretty. You have an option, which I don't have in this book, but you have an option of getting extra lined pages at the end of the monthly planner. And you can get 40 or 80, so that's your choice. You can get either 40 extra lined pages or 80 extra lined pages, or you can get productivity pages. And I think that's new this year. I don't remember that from last year, but you can get 40 productivity pages or 80 productivity pages as add-ons in your monthly planner. So the monthly planner, you know, what is it good for? What, what would you do with your monthly planner? I really think it's a great project planner. So whether you use it just for work or school or for a craft or your budgeting, your craft projects, there's so many ways to use this and it would include things that you might not want cluttering up your regular life planner. Like I use my life planner more for my day to day and managing, you know, what I'm going to do each particular day. But if I'm trying to plan out a project that I'm working on or even travel plans or things like that, sometimes I want to keep that separately in its own notebook. And that's what the monthly planner is. It's really a combination of a calendar and a notebook. And so I really love the monthly planner for project planning and I've used them for so many different things. But primarily I use mine for my craft projects and for budgeting but there's so many other ways to use them. They're very versatile, I guess you could say. So that is the monthly planner, but I also want to share with you a few things, other things that Erin Condren sent to me along with this planner. And one of the things is this interchangeable cover. As you know, the covers on these planners are interchangeable, and this one is a brand new one, and it's so pretty, and it's it's something a little bit different. Like I tend to go with the brighter colors, but I really like the black background on this and the way the flowers pop out. So this is a really pretty cover. They also sent me this pen. I love the Erin Condren pens. They are so gorgeous on my desk. I have a few of these in a pencil holder and they really dress up the desk. So this one has the new mid-century circles design. And another thing that I use a ton of are these soft bound notebooks. I love the way they lie flat. And honestly, I love using these as my day to day notes. So I put one of, I always have one of these, a running one. And anytime I need to write down a bunch of notes, from maybe a phone conversation or some research that I've done online or even some to-dos from my emails. I'll just put the date up here, write them down, and then tomorrow I'll do the same thing. So I always have all my notes in one place and I know where to go back and look for them. So I love the softbound notebooks and I use them all the time. Another thing that they sent to me was this little snap-in dashboard and this snaps right into your coiled monthly planner or your life planner. And this one is in the mid-century circles design. It has a to-do list on one side and it has Monday through Sunday on the other side and you can write your meal plans or your anything you need to remember on that side. So I love the dashboards. They also sent me a very fun mid-century circles planning pack which goes I am sitting on the floor in case you haven't realized, so I'm in a little bit an awkward position here because I'm outside. But um, there is this mid-century circles planning pack and it goes right around your either life planner or your monthly planner. 
and it can keep all of your accessories inside. And of course they sent me some wonderful accessories. This is the new pen kit and I love these. I don't know if you have one of these from before, if you've seen them, but there are a bunch of different tips and they fit inside this barrel for your pen. So you can just switch out the colors that you want. And each tip is a little bit different. So these have, this is a, oops, I've got some stuff on there. This is the broader tip, the wide tip. And then this is the highlighter tip, the chisel tip. And then there's a new one. There's these fine tips, which I really, really like for writing. So these are great for writing in your planners. And there's a bunch of new colors. So there's, these are more of a bold color. The initial one that they had from last year had a different set of colors. So I really love that they're expanding this and that you can just switch them out whenever you want. So I love those interchangeable pens, the pen kit. And then finally they sent me, these are um, some older patterns, but they sent me a set of two sets of sticky notes and they snap right also, they snap right into your planners, your coil planners as well. So a bunch of fun things along with the all new Erin Condren 2021-22 monthly planner. I've linked to everything in the comments below and I hope you enjoyed walking through this with me today. My name is Nina Nanda Gopal and you can find me at almostpractical.com where I talk about Erin Condren reviews and organizing and planning and productivity. Thank you so much for joining me today.